Hi everybody, this is Mary from Mary's uh, Stamping Camp with Mary and Mary's Stamping Happenings and today is Tips and Techniques Tuesday. Um, I will really want to show you something that has been going around the internet lately. It's called acrylic pour and what you do is you use um, acrylic paint on canvas and you just pour the paint in. You just um, distribute it around and then you let it dry and it looks really beautiful. Well somebody asked can we do it with ink? Well I have been trying it and the acrylic pour that I had seen was where you put on a Lazy Susan and you spin it off so it's all um, in different um, colors and, and different shapes and that. Uh, so I tried that and it didn't quite work out well. In fact, um, using glossy cardstock, it took, uh, well, I tried to dry it for two days and the ink did not dry. Uh, so I decided I blotted it and it still didn't, it looked okay, but it wasn't great. So somebody says, well, that's not really acrylic pour. Acrylic pour is when you pour it and then it just overlaps and stuff like that. Well, it's really hard to overlap our ink colors because they're water-based and if you put a red and a blue and a yellow, they're all going to be the same if they're wet. But if they're not wet, they look different. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to, to do a pour. You're going to need a piece of glossy cardstock and you're going to need something to blot it. I use um, an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Whisper White cardstock because then you can use that also. It doesn't look as pretty as the uh, glossy cardstock, but you can still use that for background. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to start out. Um, let's do a little bit, bit of Blueberry Bliss. Okay, I am just going to put a line of Blueberry Bliss and maybe a couple of dots here and there. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to take it up and I'm going to move it and we're going to let it create its own little. Now it'd be better like if you had a plate or something underneath there. Um, I'm going to try to catch the dot drops before they fall off <laughs> and get all over the place because I don't have a lot of the graph paper left. And I am just going to, now see it looks black, doesn't it? Almost looks black, but it's Blueberry Bliss. It's a really bright blue, supposedly. So I'm just going to let this, now I'm not going to do a really, you know, a hundred colors or four or five, I'll do three or four colors just so you can get the feeling of what it's supposed to look like, okay? Now you could probably even with this, write your name or do some, I'm sure somebody's artistic enough to be able to know where to place the drops so you can get them different, make a picture. I'm not that brilliant. So, and I'm just going to let this all, now if yours ink doesn't, um, what is this, Blackberry Bliss? Oh, fresh fig. If your ink doesn't flow as well as you want, which is okay, um, you may not want it to flow really fast because if it does, then it'll get off. And getting off, I guess, is okay too. I want to get that one. I want the the one I did had some. The edges weren't all done because I tried to stop it before the edges, but. Um, you know, you just hold it at angles and, and whatnot. So I'm going to take my blotting paper now, my Whisper White, and I am just going to lay it over and I'm just going to blot it. I'm not going to move the paper because I want to use the paper too. And you can see where it's coming through. So that's a lot of ink in there. Okay. And I'm just going to lift that up. Now you can see, at least I can see the blue. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I can see the blue. And I'm going to say, okay, yeah, it's still a little wet. So maybe I'll put down a second blot.
Okay. Yeah, a little bit, not much. So, okay. Now I think it's pretty dry. So I'm going to use my Grapefruit Grove. Grape, yeah, Grapefruit Grove. And I'm just going to put down... I don't like that Blueberry Bliss. It looks really darker than when I stamp with it. But, oh well, I used it. I thought it was one of my favorite ones. It really hasn't been that. So, then I am just going to move these. And I'm going to lay down my, and I mean, I would probably, if I wasn't doing a video right now, I'd probably be doing this a lot longer because I would like it to go a lot further, a little, be a little more colored in. But I want to give you the opportunity to see, look at how that looks. Okay, and let's use um, this is the um, pineapple punch. And again, you could put it in a line, you can put it, you can write your name with it, whatever you want. And I am just, again, just going to... And you may want to just do one drop at a time and get it where you want it. I mean, this is not a simple, fast thing to do. But as you notice, I am not getting any green where the blue and yellow are <laughs> on. So it is going over top. Oh, ooh, I am getting a little green there, so it must have been a little blue. Still a little blue wet. Uh, I would probably wait, if I'm doing a dark color like that, I'd probably wait definitely, blot it a couple of times, maybe run your heat gun over it to make sure that it is done and uh, okay now see you're getting the the green in there because that definitely is not dry because it's soaking all the way through. Now I'm going to put some lovely lipstick. Now for my live event, this one, I used um, the Lemon Lime Twist, I used the Call Me Clover Lovely Lipstick, and then the uh, Punch, the Pineapple Punch.
and then one last there you got that and you got this and I'd cut this out and use it as background for Stampin' Camp with Mary and Mary Stamping Happenings thanks for visiting and have, oh, follow me on YouTube and all the supplies to make this is down below bye bye